千里之行，始于足下。A journey of a thousand miles begins beneath the feet. We now gather in the Tao to travel the journey together. Welcome to Tao Talks with Derek Lin, where we take a deep dive into the Tao Te Ching by Lao Tzu. As always, I would like to extend a warm welcome to one and all. Thank you for joining us. I would like to invite you to center your thoughts and direct your attention to this moment in time, to the here and now, to be fully present and mindfully aware, as we all ready ourselves for this sacred process in the Tao with one another. Here we are at the final presentation slide of chapter 81, right before we go into paraphrase and full circle. So this is meant to graphically summarize everything Lao Tzu has spoken of in this particular chapter. This is about different aspects, three different aspects about how we live, starting with the mind. The one who knows, those who know, that's what the two Chinese characters are. And my label there, real knowledge, because Lao Tzu says those who know or those who possess real knowledge are not broad of knowledge. They do not appear to know everything. They don't present themselves as a know-it-all. In our lives, we have seen know-it-alls just really betray their arrogance. So this right here is reflecting in your mind, your thoughts. In the Tao, this also means being consistent in your internal thoughts and external actions. As being consistent, as in being consistent, whether you are in public, or all by yourself. So this is the mental aspects, pointing to the mind. Then, in the first section, we also saw this emphasis on communication. We talked about beautiful words and debates. So this is associated with not just your mind now, but your words, the words that you utter, the things you say. Here, we've got two parts. To the left, declining to debate with other people, 不变. Concede the victory if that is what the other party is looking for. They just want to win. That's fine. They can win. Then, 信言, words that people can believe in or the truth. So both xin yan and bu bian are based on adherence to reality in your communication. The idea is that the world is full of deception. So by doing our best to be truthful, when called upon to express the truth, we can contribute to making the world a little bit better. So having covered the words, let's also talk about actions because this chapter talks about mentality, the mind, words, spoken communication, and action. So that's the reason I am using the thousand hands of the Bodhisattva to represent these acts of giving and helping out of compassion. In this chapter specifically, it is the compassion with which you extend your assistance to those who need your help without asking for anything in return, without setting conditions. So no conditions, no expectations, it's the thousand hands of assistance because it's the assistance rendered for all, 
It's not selective. It doesn't pass judgment on who deserves or does not deserve to be helped. And then to the right, the thousand fans of giving, it's the same thing. The assistance to those uh, by giving to them who do not have enough. The thousand hands of giving. Now, in accordance with the Tao, it means that you give in accordance with the, your abilities, that is, giving your excess. When you do that, you can continue giving for a very long time because what you give is not something that will hurt your ability to continue giving. So that's the action part, to go with the words and the mind. And finally, the Tao, right in the middle, right in the center. Everything is based on the heavenly Tao. The ideal of Laozi, I can, I can sum up everything with two lines. Line one, benefit everyone, harm no one. Line two, assistance to all, contention with none. So benefit everyone, harm no one, and then assistance to all, contention with none. At the end of the Tao Te Ching, at the end of chapter 81, this is the most important point that Lao Tzu wanted to make. Our meeting has come to an end, but the journey continues on. Let us all travel safely so we can meet again. Until next time, may the Tao fill you with peace and happiness.